Good evening, my friends, and a very warm welcome to my small corner of the internet. My name is Really JB, and tonight I'm going to be answering some more anonymous questions that you guys have sent in for me. Now, if you didn't catch the last video that I did like this, then I'll leave a link up at the top where you can check that out. But basically, I posted the link to my Telenim account over on my Instagram and invited you guys and anyone else that could track me down on the internet to send me questions. And it could be anything. And when I said that, I was not expecting the huge variety that I got. I had questions based around mental health and, and campaigning, and I had questions about pop culture, questions about really intense personal things that I was not expecting. But I did say that it was an Ask Me Anything video, and I like to think that I'm a man of my word, so I answered everything. And depending on the reaction that I had to that video, I said that I may well be making another one and the video went down quite well, so here I am doing it again. I'm opening the app now for the very first time since I made that last video, so my reactions to these questions are completely genuine. This is the first time that I'm seeing them. Um, I've got no notes, I've got no scripts. It's, it's just me and you chilling out on a Monday night getting, I'm sure, super personal and super uncomfortable. So with all that being said, I guess with a lot of trepidation, I should say, let's do this. Do I have any regrets? <laughs> yeah, next question. What is attractive to me? Well, the most attractive thing, and it sounds weird saying, but I'm sure I'm not alone. The most attractive thing that a person can be is passionate. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter what they're passionate about, as long as it's not like racism and kicking babies or something, but just having a passion about something in life, having a hobby or a dream, having something that you aspire to be, some kind of dream job or dream change that you want to see in the world. They're the kind of people that I want to hang around, the kind of people that draw the best out of me and the kind of people that I want in my life. So, yeah, that probably sounds like a really, really weird one. I bet you're expecting, like, oh yeah, redheads or something, but yeah, like, passionate people. What popular notion do I think that the world has got wrong? Jeez. I think if I had to say one, because there's so, so, so many, but if I had to say one, it would be, I'm not sure how to word it, the notion that happiness is directly tied into how popular you are on social media. Yeah, that idea that kind of people growing up are equating happiness and feelings of success, feelings of popularity with the amount of likes that they've got on Instagram, the amount of comments on their latest selfie on Facebook, because in the real world, those things are independent. You know, happiness doesn't come from being popular on social media, and being popular on social media doesn't mean that you're happy. Um, these young people are growing up in their minds thinking that nobody likes them because they didn't hit a hundred likes on their latest picture, and that breaks my heart because in the real world that's, that's not the case, that's not how it works. Do you believe that you'll come back to the States one day? Yes. If so, do you think it will be any time in the near future? I would love to go back to the States. For those of you that don't know, I lived in the States for about five months, I think, a couple of years ago, and it was one of the best experiences of my entire life. I have never felt as comfortable in, in a city as I did when I was living in Chicago and I would love to go back uh, very, very much. The one thing that's stopping me is the fact that it is so heckin' expensive. Last time I checked, the flights alone, if I was gonna go for a couple of weeks, would be like 1,200 quid, and that, that's about $1,500. That's the one thing stopping me, but I would absolutely love to come back. Um, 
basically as soon as I've saved up enough to uh, to fly myself over. Next up, somebody sent a really lovely message from what I can tell. They've said, you're honestly an inspiration and I love you and your account. Well, I love you too. Keep your head up. Honestly, you're probably the most straight up person I've ever come across. Now that means so much to me, not just that you've spent the time during the day to sit and type that message out to me, but saying that I'm the most straight up person you've come across, honesty is very much something that I strive for in my content on Instagram and here on YouTube. So hearing that, I'm not sure if you meant it as a compliment, but I'm taking that. It, that means a lot to me because that's what I strive to do. Jesus. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate your very kind words and it took me completely by surprise. I'm having to sit here and reread it. Um, it's so sweet and so kind. Thank you very, very much. Next up, somebody's asked what got me interested in ASMR. And that's a really good question because I know exactly how to answer it. Basically, insomnia. About three or four years ago now, I stumbled across this strange side of YouTube called ASMR, where there were strange people eating lots of food in front of a microphone and whispering at me, and I could never quite put my finger on what it was about it, but it, it really helped relax me. And obviously, doing some more research into it, I discovered okay, it's, it's a thing that a lot of people experience. And basically every night since then, I've gone to sleep listening to ASMR. I know it's difficult and it's, it's not easy for me to sit in front of a camera. Um, I haven't done a strictly, completely ASMR video since my very first one, but it's something that I really want to keep trying to do. I should just say as well on that topic, if I look really tired, it's because I am really tired. I barely slept last night, so I apologise about the massive bags under my eyes. If I look tired and exhausted, I am tired and exhausted, what can I say? Next up, somebody's asked what I think my biggest flaw is and my biggest strength, as well as what I admire or can't stand in other people. So I'm going to break that down. My biggest flaw, I think, is... Damn, you're hitting me with the hard questions now. There's so many, I don't know what to choose from. I would say frustration. I know that probably doesn't make sense just in that word, so I'll try and explain it. I struggle quite a lot with feelings of frustration that this is what my life has ended up like. I know that sounds incredibly depressing, but if you watched the last video, um, my last Ask Me Anything video, I spoke about how my mental health journey started. And during that, that story, I mentioned that at one point when I was at secondary school or high school, when I left, I left with 14 A stars, being completely on track to go to med school. Yay. But then things didn't go to plan um, my mental health deteriorated within about six months and I was in hospital. So I struggle a lot with feeling frustrated that this is, I let my life become this. And I know that doesn't maybe make sense because I know realistically I didn't let any of this happen, but it still doesn't stop me from feeling frustrated, especially when it comes to my recovery and things like panic attacks, I'm still having them on a daily basis, and in that sense there hasn't been any improvement in the last, say, seven years. Obviously I know other things like self-harm, they've improved a hell of a lot, but when I'm still having panic attacks every single day, I can't help but feel frustrated, and that it does get in the way sometimes of my recovery, because I feel so like it's pointless. I've been doing it for so long with seemingly so little to show for it. And I, I do struggle quite a lot with that. So I think that would be my biggest flaw. Jesus, this is a lot more intense than, than the last one. 
I think my biggest strength would probably be probably my honesty and that's that's why that previous question why those words meant so much to me because honesty is something that I value and it's something that I strive for not just in in the content that I create in sharing my stories and and my experiences but on on a personal level in relationships and friendships honesty is one of the most important things to me so I and and I think I am a fairly honest person maybe too honest sometimes so that's my biggest strength I think right what do I admire or can't stand in other people can't stand in other people you know when you're walking through like a shopping center and there's people in front of you walking along and you're walking behind them and then they just stop out of nowhere like I will walk into the back of you and fall over because you've just decided to stop I that's like one of my biggest pet peeves so that's what I can't stand in other people but something I admire in other people is again it's honesty it's it's resilience in the the face of hardship and that can be on a personal level or on a much greater level people that are honest about their emotions the way they're feeling it, it's invaluable in terms of, of recovery but it's also it's so inspiring to see people who have been through trauma and have been through addiction and have been through whatever else being honest and talking and sharing about their experiences, the way they were feeling, the things they went through, that's something that inspires me to do this, basically. Um, so I, I would I would have to say that. My opinion on Dan and Phil, the YouTubers. Now, I don't know that much about them. I was on Tumblr back in the day, so I know kind of a bit about them but honestly I don't know that much so I don't I don't want to comment um, and say something out of turn I mean anyone that can make a success out of being an emo is all right in my books that's that's all I know now this is quite a good question someone's asked I sort of want to start a YouTube channel but I'm very self-conscious and don't know what to film but you inspire me so much and it's made me want to do it but I don't know if I should well I know exactly how you feel because that's me even doing this video I am incredibly self-conscious and it took pretty much an entire week of hyping myself up every night to the point where I can sit down now and record this so I completely understand where you're coming from so I'd be hesitant to give you any advice on the actual technical side of things but with regards to just taking the plunge I honestly I know exactly how it feels I completely get that it's awkward and uncomfortable sitting there in front of a camera and a microphone is definitely something that I'm not used to and it's something that I find quite difficult I mean this is my eighth or ninth video now and yeah I've been doing it for a few months so on a technical side I, I really can't give you that much advice but on a personal level it's been challenging it's been difficult and I often feel exactly the same I don't know what to film basically all the time but the way it's been challenging me it's it's an exciting way of talking to people it's an exciting platform if you have a story to tell if you have experiences to share if you just want to make content it's it's a great platform um, and as awkward and scary as it is because believe me I know it's also incredibly rewarding when you sit there and you've got the the finished video sat uploading you can sit there and kind of think I did that you know even if it's a five minute video I did that and that's that's huge that gives me so much kind of personal satisfaction that I've spent time working on something and I've put it together I've pushed myself and I've put it out there for the world to see it doesn't matter if it gets five views or 500 million views in my opinion 
the the most satisfaction so far anyway comes from sitting there and seeing the finished product and kind of putting your name on it and thinking yeah you know i i did that so what have you got to lose you know it's it's worth it you can do it with a smartphone um you don't need any additional you don't need lights or mics or anything you can literally do it all on a on a smartphone so if it's something that you're interested in something you want to maybe give a try especially if i can do it then literally anyone can so give it a shot um and i'm excited to see what you come up with what's the best gig that i've been to well, i've been to a lot of concerts everything from stadium gigs to tiny gigs in pubs and the best one i've ever been to was the last time that i saw frank carter and the rattlesnakes if you haven't heard them highly recommend you type them in the search bar and give them a listen because they are super super underrated but seeing this band it was last year i think at a small club in portsmouth here in the uk and i've never seen a band quite personify the phrase tearing up the stage as much as i did that night it was raw is i think just the best description just raw emotional visceral it was incredible i mean at one point i was moshing which i've never done before and another point i was crying holding him up frank carter um it was an incredible experience would I say that I'm a follower or a leader? Well, first of all, I'm way too anxious and way too shy to ever be an effective leader. But I'm also not a follower. I know that's a bad answer, but I'm far too independent in in the way my mind works, in my thinking, in my, my ideology. So, yeah, like I said, I know it's a bad answer, but somewhere in the middle, I guess. How do I reckon the world would be different if superheroes and villains existed? Well, I think that the world we live in is already that world. There are already superheroes and there are already supervillains. If you think of characters like Lex Luthor, for example, that have a huge amount of wealth and a lot of political power as well, and look after their own self-interests. I'm, I'm not going to name any names, but I'm sure that you could probably think of at least one example of a politician or celebrity that, that meets that description. And superheroes. Superheroes, to me, are people that do incredible things. That is what a superhero is. And there are human beings on this planet who do incredible things. If you look, human rights activists, people like the Doctors Without Borders, what's their fancy name? Médecins Sans Frontières, I think, who are trained doctors that go and work in war zones and third world countries. If you think about whistleblowers who sacrifice their entire lives to get the truth out there, they are superheroes. They are doing incredible things. And by my own definition, they meet that standard. I'm sure that to some people, superheroes are purely people that can fly and teleport and turn into fire and, and what have you. But to me, a superhero is somebody who is incredible who does incredible things. And there are definitely, definitely lots of those people in this world. Okay, last question now. Would I ever visit Scotland? I would love to visit Scotland. Firstly, because I wear lots of flannel, so I would fit right in. Secondly, because one of my favorite bands, Twin Atlantic, are from Scotland. So I would love to go and visit Glasgow, where they're from. And I'm also used to singing in a very, very bad Scottish accent, so I could kind of fit in in the pubs with, with the drunk Scottish people singing. Uh, thirdly, the scenery and countryside is gorgeous. Um, and you had lots of castles. I love castles. So 
that's that's another draw for me and the people as well i hear that the people are terrifying but also very friendly and that sounds like my crowd so yeah i would love to visit scotland if only it wasn't so expensive oh no there is one more how long have i been clean well that is a very positive way to end this video i have been clean for a year tomorrow tomorrow being monday so by the time this is posted it may well be a year uh, that i've been clean well that's a very positive note to end on so i won't say that i hope this has been fun to watch because it's been pretty intense but i hope you've learned some more about me i hope that i've answered your burning burning questions and i very much look forward to seeing you in my next video whenever that comes up so yes thank you very much and i will speak to you later bye for now